Yes, on behalf of the Board of uh, Conveners of uh, Ninas, uh, we welcome Chief Afe Babalola into the fold of statesmen who now realize that going to elections in 2023 is going to compound the already terrible problems of Nigeria. We were reading the press uh, in these last few days where he strongly, very strongly recommended that the journey to 2023 elections be suspended for us to get into an interim government to sort out uh, the constitutional arrangements of Nigeria, uh, you know, uh, which he said write a new, better constitution. You know, uh, having said that, having said that, I will want us to, I will want us to revert our minds back to the five points proposition of the constitutional force majeure. What uh, Chief Afe Babalola, senior advocate, has done, you know, is he's speaking from that uh, prescription of Ninas. But out of the five points, he is very much, you know, correct in the four. Let, 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 so that we can understand uh, what he has said in relation to what Ninas was saying. He has only, uh, you know, uh, what he said covers for only three out of the five. And the other two, uh, maybe <laughs> Chief will have to go back to look at uh, the draft because he has the draft. In fact, uh, uh, even before it went public, uh, it, it's a, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's something he can go to verify so that he can adjust what needs to be adjusted. We, you know, he's, he's in complete agreement with us that the constitution we have now is no longer able to carry us any further. Our union has broken down on account of that constitution. That's uh, item number one. Item number two, he's in complete agreement that uh, that constitution has to be replaced wholesale, not any kind of amendment or review or any kind of tinkering. Let us accept we have not made a constitution and let's go to make one. Number three is uh, the question of uh, let us put a time frame, a definite time frame uh, in not going to another election before we solve that problem. So it becomes something we do now before we proceed to any election. Now, uh, in the five points proposition of uh, the constitutional force measure of Ninas, the first is that we that the that the government must acknowledge the dispute emanating from constitutional arrangements. The second uh, proposition is that uh, that constitution of 1999 must now be decommissioned wholesale. The third proposition of ours is that. No further that there's a, that there should be a definite uh, commitment uh, not to proceed to any further elections under that constitution. Number four is that uh, in fact I have to read. Let me read it from. Uh, let me read that number four in the words we used. We said a formal initiation of a time-bound transitioning process to midwife the emergence of fresh constitutional protocols by a two-stage process in which the constituent regional blocks will, at the first stage, distill and ratify their various constitutions by referendums and plebiscites, and in the second stage, negotiate the terms of federating afresh as may be dictated by the outcomes of the referendums and plebiscites. So there is a definite uh, process, we say a time-bound transitioning process to midwife the emergence of fresh constitutional uh, processes. So the business of that uh, transitioning, the, the business to be done in that period when election is suspended is to work out in two stages what will be the replacement for what we are rejecting so that governance is maintained, it's not anarchy, we're not quarreling with those in government house, and, but it has to be in two stages. Number five of uh, our proposition is that 
a formal invitation to the peoples of the South and Middle Belt of Nigeria to work out and in place a, transition, a transitional authority which shall specify the modalities for the transitioning process, including the composition mandate and mandate of the transitional authority, as well as the time frame for the transitioning and other ancillary matters. I repeat, a formal invitation to the peoples of the South and Middle Belt of Nigeria to work out and then place a transitional authority which shall specify the modalities for the transitioning process, including the composition and mandate of the transitional authority, as well as the time frame for the transitioning and other ancillary matters. Now, this is where uh, uh, the, the rubber meets the road in terms of who will what is the what is the composition who is going to be determining what this transitioning should look like we say it is the nationalities that are the owners of the sovereignty who have to consult and put in place like south africa put kodesha a body with constituent powers cannot be constituted by government sitting in government house it is the owners of the owners of the sovereignties, the custodians of that custodian of that constituent power that will have to now come to say uh, let us do it this way and not that way. So they put in place a transitional authority of their choice, defining the modalities. How will this transitional authority proceed? What will be the time frame uh, within which they, could, they will have to do all their tasks? What is the membership? How do we, who and who, uh, uh, the, the, how do we get, how, would, how do we assemble the people that will be in that? Uh, so that's what we mean by you know, talking about uh, the the composition and the mandate, what what business would that transitional authority be doing to arrive at the outcome we want? So, while we are saying, while Ninas recommended, while Ninas insists that we must now resolve this union dispute that have been outstanding in number one of the demand is that we must resolve this union dispute that have been outstanding since 1967, since after Aburi. And that we must decommission the constitution imposed by brigandage over this last uh, uh, close to 50 years. That's number two. Number three, that we cannot proceed to another election on the basis of that other constitution. Number four, that uh, a time-bound transitioning will have to be in place. Number five, that it is the constituents that will have to decide the modalities, the time frame, the all kinds of things, details of what that transitioning should be. And so, uh, what Chief Afebalola, as a, you know, uh, where he, where he veered off from what we are saying, because he's he's representing, he's presenting to the public, in our own, you know, understanding, he's reinforcing the need to go and do what we, what Nina say should be done. But uh, the modalities he then, uh, you know, attached to the interim government is talking about, the first thing that is a no-no is the composition he tried to add to it, that it has to be the former uh, presidents and all kinds of people who created this problem that will be in that, uh, that's not our recommendation. Nina is not saying that. Nina said the nationalities who have to decide how they go about it. Second, he is suggesting that uh, that transition will begin only after the tenure of uh, this uh, uh, current administration uh, ends. We said no. We need the balance of this tenure to go to, to, we need to use the balance of this tenure to, you know, dispense with that transitioning. Everybody knows what uh, they want. And it doesn't, it's not rocket science to go to a referendum to ratify it. Those, are, those two stages can be undertaken in less than the time left for this. Uh, so all of what, uh, there's not no governance going on now. You can see it's politicking. And uh, at the time, our president and commander-in-chief had now been shown to be the organizer of the terror that is happening to us, the organizer of the, of the collapse of our economy, because it is that insurgency that has uh, also... Uh, you know, uh, led to the economic uh, uh, downturn we have seen, you know, and all of that, you know. So we, we say it, it, cannot, it cannot be otherwise than 
the uh, you know the joint decision of uh, the constituent uh, components of Nigeria as the owners of the sovereignty. So those are the, those are the things. The time to do that the transition is now. The composition is as decided by the owners. And uh, the modalities and all of how it will be done is, and it's not the third important thing he missed out on, is the question of going to write another constitution. He says, let's go to interim government and write another constitution. No. What we are saying is that there are two businesses to be done. And that is why that preamble to that constitution is in two parts. The same reason we have the memo and article, to first create the company and then write the terms of the relationship. The same way, the two businesses that Bola Igese should be done is what has to be done now, not one, to go and write constitution. All the lawyers in Nigeria, senior advocate, professor, who have been talking about going to write another constitution as uh, what uh, we need to do. No, we are saying that it is to first get the constituent components of Nigeria, that Nigeria defined by that constitution, is at an end with the collapse of that constitution. The Yoruba must go to recommit into the any union by referendum. That's what that item four and five of the Nina's uh, proposition represent. That uh, there must is a two-stage process. The time-bound transition will have to midwife the, that two-stage process in which the constituents of the defunct federation will have to de, you know, recommit by referendum or opt out by referendum in the first stage. It's only when they have recommitted to say they want to remain in union that will go to the meeting of writing a new constitution, uh, you know, of course, based on their own regional constitutions by which they want to federate, in that order. So let nobody come to tell us. Let, uh, let uh, Chief Afibalala understand that uh, there's a more serious business to be done before we begin to write constitution. That is where, that's what Nigeria has been trying to run away from since after Aburi. We have to go to that two-stage uh, uh, process now. I think uh, if we understand it for what it is, and uh, it, it, it's all available on the website of uh, Ninas, www.ninasvoice.org, uh, uh, so that we can go and read, even if it's only those five points, not the full, uh, you know, uh, the full uh, proclamation it will help a great deal. And there, there's really no other way to proceed in this matter. The only other thing that can happen, if we don't do it the way we have set out to do it, because this is now the consensus of the majority. The minority that is uh, you know, suggesting all kinds of things to wedge themselves into the process uh, should know that uh, if we're not doing it together, people are going to go unilateral because their lives are on the line. We drop it there. Thank you. <laughs>